Hi, I'm Bonnie Saratori with Spiritual Acceleration. I want to give you an awesome way to access your subconscious. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, you'd want to do that because you want to know what you're creating. Okay. So the thing about all of us, every, every human being, we create our reality 100%. We create it from the subconscious. Okay. So we, if we know what's in our subconscious, if we have a sense of, then we can take action and do something about it. Okay. One of the easiest things to do to access the subconscious is to do writing with your non-dominant hand. So I'm right-handed, so I would write with my left hand. What I would do is, like, let's just say that I want to uh, get a sense of, like, I'm feeling something happening in my world, I'm having reactions, and uh, maybe I'm getting angry or frustrated, or things aren't working how I want them. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to start writing about it. Okay, today I felt something, you know, I felt anger. I was da 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 da. Someone said this. But what we want, though, is you want to write with your non dominant hand. Don't worry about spelling. Don't worry about punctuation. You want to write as quickly as you can without just scribbling. It's not about scribbling, okay? Because it, what it does is you're using the non dominant hand. And as you're doing that, it's doing something in the brain. I can actually watch it happen. But what happens is, is you're opening up to the subconscious and emotions will start to present. It's pretty simple. So, you know, if you want to get more deeper into childhood stuff, write a letter to your mother, write a letter to your father, write a letter if you're married, write a letter to your spouse or your children or your, you know, anybody or anything, you can actually start bringing up emotions, accessing the subconscious by using the non-dominant hand. Now it's real simple and yet people kind of get stuck in, you know, trying to write really fast and then they get concerned about punctuation or didn't spell it right or you can't read it or whatever. You know, don't worry about it. You just, you wanna write fast enough that you're not scribbling, okay? It's gotta be, so you're not going too fast. It's gotta be at a, a speed that it really starts to work the brain. You, you, you actually, you can kind of feel it, you know, because you're you're getting a little tweaky happening in that brain as you're using that non-dominant hand. Okay, so a good way to do that: um, make sure you're in a space where you can do it, where you're alone, you don't have interferences, the telephone, no distractions. You want to take that time for yourself because if you're doing it right, emotions are going to come. Okay, now here's the key about emotions: when you have an emotion have it. If it's there, have it. Let it be there. Open up. Let it let it present. Let it come out. Know it all the way. You know, part of this whole exercise is to bring up the emotions and it will do that if you're doing it right. All righty. Well, let's play with that and see what you can discover about your own subconscious. And just as you know, this is a great way to uh, learn more about spiritual acceleration. If you're not familiar with this, our website, we have lots of wonderful free gifts and lots of cool things that will help you, you know, discover more about how do you wake up? How do you end your suffering? How do you get liberated? That's what we're all about is liberation. So check us out at spiritualacceleration.com. Look for our free gifts and also look for what we, what we offer. All right. Hope to see you there.